Welcome to the Dragomon Academy Business Writing Skills Workshop eDemo. Today I would like to give you an overview of our most popular two-day workshop. First, I would like to say that business writing is not a skill that only English as a second language speakers need. Excellent business writing is a skill that no one is born with and it must be learned. There are three principles in this workshop which are consistent in good business writing. First, direct but polite. Second, appreciative. And number three, business is not personal. These are three principles we want you to take with you and use in every aspect of your professional career, not only in writing, but also useful in face-to-face -face communication, problem solving, meetings, and presentations. What are these three themes founded on? Culture. Culture is the first topic in this workshop. Cultural understanding, to be exact. Let me give you one example of opposite culture types. There are specific cultures, and the opposite culture type is diffuse culture. Specific cultures are open to sharing personal information with almost anyone they meet and having friendly relationships with people they see routinely is very important. The opposite culture, diffuse cultures, may not smile when they meet new people. They share personal information with only close friends. Therefore, they might seem difficult to get to know if you are from the opposite culture group. Which one do you think Turkey is? I think that Turkey is a specific culture in that it, it people find it very important to make strong relationships and also to start making those relationships quickly when you meet someone. Yeah, I definitely think Turkey is a specific culture. Uh, it's very specific, I think, because Turkish people are always friendly to strangers. I asked a few local expats what the most personal question they have ever been asked is. The most personal question that anyone's ever asked me is, do you want to have children? Uh, I was having my hair done for the first time by a new hairdresser, and he asked me, uh, so where is your father? What does your father do? And I said, oh, my father uh, has passed away. And he asked me, oh, really? How did he die? And I told to him, and then he said, oh, really, did you bury him or did you cremate him? The most personal question I've ever been asked here is, why did you get divorced? Do you have any children? I think the most personal question anyone's ever asked me in Turkey is how much money I make. When are you going to have children? So how does this affect your writing? A more complex way that this cultural difference might affect your writing is the amount of detail Turkish speakers tend to put in their business communication. In specific Turkish culture, it's polite to explain all the information and decisions you have made. In the opposite culture, diffuse culture, they may think that your email is too long, unfocused, and that you are wasting their time with too much unnecessary detail. For example, take a look at this email from a Turkish client. Now, a person from the opposite culture would probably write the same email like this. You will notice that the second email is less detailed and more direct and doesn't contain any excuse for postponing the meeting. Also, the greeting changed from dear to good morning. Are both messages polite? Yes, of course. Which one is direct but polite? Both are polite, but the second one is definitely more direct. The second one is more direct because it actually mentions that the meeting must be postponed. <laughs> I think the first one has some unnecessary information. For example, I have to work with my manager tonight. Uh, I 
there I have some bad news. Uh, it's it, it gives me the impression that she doesn't want to work with her manager, <laughs> and I don't need to know that she doesn't like working with her manager. So I got an email from a Turkish person, and he wanted to cancel a meeting. But he didn't say cancel a meeting. He said, can we delay the meeting? And my question was, delay like later today or delay until later in the week? He wasn't very specific. So I had to email him back and ask, do you mean, are we meeting today still or will we cancel the lesson totally? Hopefully, this example helped illustrate the first principle of the workshop, direct but polite. The second principle and third principle, appreciative and business is not personal, also come from cultural differences. The goal of the workshop is to provide you with writing skills that create a global culture. These three principles, in balance, will create effective writing in absolutely any culture, and you can avoid many cultural misunderstandings. So let me give you an overview of the rest of the workshop. Of course, this workshop is customized for each client, but these are the basics. As we discussed previously, Module 1 deals with cultural understanding. We will use a real case study of a series of emails that contain cultural misunderstandings between an American employee and a Turkish company owner. In Module 2, we will focus on how to send faster emails using multifunctional stock expressions. Formal and informal memos are the topic of Module 3. We focus on how different English and Turkish punctuation is and how something as small as a period or a comma can change the reader's perception of the writer. Module 4 deals with executive summaries and using transitions to make your writing more organized and clear as well as the correct language for explaining charts, graphs, and data. In Module 5, we will practice formal letters that deal with diplomatic language, handling complaints, dealing with difficult situations, disagreeing, and empathy. And finally, Module 6 concerns deliverables. Again, this is a truly customized workshop, so only issues that apply to the participants will be included. It is extremely active, and by the end of the two-day workshop, each participant will have, on average, a five-page portfolio of writing. I read and correct every sentence in each portfolio, and then send it back to the participant with feedback of strengths and points to improve. So I hope this was a very helpful summary of our workshop. Thank you for watching this e-demo of the Dragomon Academy Business Writing Skills Workshop. Please feel free to contact us if you'd like more information, and please visit us on www.dragomonacademy.com. Thank you again for listening.